The iPhones are generally known for great stabilization with the OIS working at the hardware level. But recently we have seen that uh, even in the mid-range smartphones in Android, you get to see some type of stabilization. It is not OIS, but it is EIS, which is working at the software level. So in this video, let's compare the Redmi Note 5 Pro, which is the budget king versus the iPhone 6 Plus, which was a flagship. Let's see how the Redmi Note 5 Pro stacks up. So let's begin the video. Let's start off with the walking test and we are going to do the running test and also I'm going to show you side by side how they compare. So here's the iPhone as you can see and it is pretty stable and here is the pan. So the pans and the overall stabilization is working pretty good. Also the entire video is shot at the same time on both of these phones so there will be no difference in terms of movement and it is pretty fair. Now let's try this on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and first impressions guys I'm actually impressed. I know you might be saying this is software or the video is cropped in whatever it is but as a customer I kind of like the results and this is what really matters to me. So overall this is doing a really good job at uh, keeping the video stable. Here's the side by side comparison and yes there is a difference in terms of video quality and uh, there is this uh, focusing issue I mean the focusing is kind of jumpy on the Redmi Note 5 Pro but we are not discussing that we are only looking at the stabilization and they both are actually doing pretty good and the Redmi Note 5 Pro is uh, stacking up pretty good as well alright so let's start running now I'm not going to run like a mad dog but uh, this is a normal running and uh, you can see here the iPhone is doing pretty good with the stabilization and uh, now let me do it again so definitely acceptable footage and pretty decent now redmi note 5 pro and uh, again as i said i'm shot these uh, on both of these at the same time so there will be no difference in terms of movement and you can see that redmi note 5 pro is actually doing pretty good job for being a mid-range device with eis now here's the side by side comparison let me know guys what do you think about the redmi note 5 pro stabilization Personally, I did not expect uh, this kind of result. I mean, I am clearly impressed. I did not really expect uh, this kind of stabilization with the EIS, but uh, definitely, yes, it is good. All right, now I'm going to take some steps and uh, this can be a bit challenging for any phone, but I'm walking normally and now I'm going to increase the pace and uh, let's see how the iPhone handles first. So kind of okay, not that great. So that's pretty much it now redmi note 5 pro again walking normally i mean i told you i shot these at the same time so there is no difference and uh, again increasing the pace slightly and here going a bit faster so basically they both did kind of okay job you will only understand if you use a phone without a stabilization and you know how the video can be jumpy and all messy you can't use the footage for anything pretty much anything so definitely they both are doing a pretty good job at what they are doing right now anyway so i was really curious about the focusing so i couldn't resist myself from doing a small focus test and i wanted to just include this here so this is the iphone and uh, the focusing is pretty smooth uh, this transition is just so graceful and uh, the redmi note 5 pro is also doing a good job with the focusing but if you look at the exposure shift uh, that is kind of a little messy but we are going to discuss that maybe later in another video so that's been it for this video guys i hope you liked it please like and share this video and also subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you soon